The Bangladeshi Prime Minister says the country can offer Rohingya refugees temporary shelter, but Myanmar must allow their safe return. At least 370,000 Rohingya have flooded across the border since violence broke out in Rakhine State last month. The crisis has drawn sharp criticism from around the world. Myanmar denies allegations of ethnic cleansing and blames insurgents for the attacks. This is what life has become for thousands of Rohingya refugees, a teeming mass of humanity crammed into muddy, squalid camps. Many would go home to Myanmar if it was safe, but it's not. A third of the people of my village, they slaughtered them and threw them into a river. Nearly 400,000 Rohingyas have fled to Bangladesh since the military launched a brutal crackdown. But with a lack of proper aid, many struggle to find food or even a plastic sheet for shelter. This woman, Rashida, is nine months pregnant. Without access to medical care, she'll have to give birth alongside 15 other family members. I'm worried. There is no help. Nobody's getting any food. Here there is no rice, no vegetables, nothing. I'm starving. Bangladesh has allocated 800 hectares to accommodate new arrivals. But the government says it's already overburdened with people. The Bangladeshi Prime Minister, who toured one camp, says the refugees aren't her responsibility. The Rohingyas are citizens of Myanmar. It's Myanmar who must take them back and ensure their safety. The UN Security Council will discuss the worsening crisis tomorrow, including allegations Myanmar has used landmines against its own people. This would be a gross violation of international law if this is in fact occurring. It's a claim Myanmar denies. Democratic Myanmar shall never tolerate such atrocities. I would like to place on record Myanmar's strong objection to the use of such terms. The government maintains its Rohingya militants who are inciting people to flee by giving false hope of resettlement in Bangladesh. Anne Barker, ABC News.